What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the lab with another quest build. This is one of the rarest build names on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. And if you are in the market looking for a build that can do it all, one of those power forward hybrids that's a guard but gets crazy amount of badges and can do everything you possibly want on a build, but you're looking for somewhat of a rarer name to bring out to the city so you can actually turn some heads with your dominant play. Look no further because this build has shades of Michael Jordan, Kawhi Leonard, and Tracy McGrady. This is the two-way mid-range slasher. Mm. This thing is absolutely disgusting. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. You're going to be a power forward to maximize the badges because you all know on 2K21 Next Gen, you get a plethora of more badges at power forward. You're going to be 6'7", 225 with a 7'3 wingspan, and I prefer a built body shape for that intimidation factor off rip on God Square left side curtains. You are going to punt close shot on this build, but you're going to max out your driving layup, your driving dunk. Get your standing dunk to a 74, and then max out your post control. That'll give you 19 finishing badges. You're going to have all the badges to score inside, and you have that nice post spin technician, back down punisher, acrobat, post riser, everything to be able to score out of that midi post, like Tracy, Kawhi, and Michael Jordan. Your mid-range, you're going to max that out to a 91, and then get your three ball to an 82, and your free throw to a 50. Five, you can't go over a three-point shot of 82 or it changes the name but this is going to give you 15 shooting badges you're going to be able to have difficult shots dead eye those kinds of badges to get your shot off volume shooter you're going to make it work on this build and be able to knock down midi pull-ups all day long and then with an 82 three ball you're going to be able to hit from three no problem your pass actually you're going to get to a 52 and then max out your ball handle and speed with ball. That's going to give you 14 playmaking. With an 83 handle, you're going to be able to play with your defender with the pill. And then getting Hall of Fame quick first, space creator, and downhill is going to make you blazing fast on a 6-7 power forward. And so you're going to be able to create any shot you want on this build with 14 playmaking badges. Get your interior defense to an 86, max that out, and your perimeter defense to a 92 that's that Kawhi Leonard Michael Jordan clamps you're gonna punt steelies but you're going to max out your block and then get your defensive rebounds to an 84 and that's gonna give you 20 defensive badges you get clamps you get off ball pest intimidator chase down rim protector Hall of Fame rebounds you're basically going to be an inside out defender and can guard one through five on this build in my opinion and you'll see in the physicals, max out your speed and acceleration, 83 and 80. And then you're going to max out your strength on this build. This is that Kawhi Leonard. You can guard fours and fives. And if you get matched up with a hybrid, you're quick enough to guard the perimeter. You This is a, a great two-way build for sure. You're going to get your vertical to an 80. So you're going to be able to sky over people and then put the rest on your stamina. And that'll give you an 80 as well. This build gets a total of 68 badges. It's not in the 80s like the scoring machines or some of the other hybrid metas, but you can do everything those builds do on this. But this name is so gross, and this is just vintage MJ, vintage Kawhi, Tracy in Orlando. You can create, you're an absolute shot creating bucket on this build, and any team could thrive with a wing type player on this build in their lineup. So going over to takeover, you have finishing take, shooting take, perimeter D, interior D. In my opinion, I personally wouldn't put the finishing takeovers on this build because you are going to finish regardless. You have Hall of Fame posterizer and rise up and all that stuff. So you could go for shooting and make and stretch your build out a little bit, get some limitless range. But I'm actually really intrigued with going double defensive take on this build and really emphasizing that side of the floor because you could dominate on that end for your team and then that translates to offense defense creates the offense you know what i'm gonna go with enhanced jump shot contests a lot of dudes like to get in their hot zones and just let them circus three fly and then i'm gonna go snatch blocks just to have fun on this build to make it an absolute defensive monster 
And then you're going to get the name Two-Way Mid-Range Slasher. This is an extremely rare build. Uh, this is a great blueprint for those of you wanting that meta power forward. Everyone can, you know, is on those wing type scorers, but this thing's a two-way clamping lock midi crazy slasher. So we're gonna put this in the test builder at a 90 plus to see exactly what it can do and what its potential is. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are messing with this build and if you like this blueprint, because you know what time it is. Quest Sparrow.